Hi everyone, really good to see you again. I'm Anne-Marie Green alongside Vladimir Dutier. Vlad, you know, we've been talking a lot about the vaccine effort and it's, you know, we're doing really well, particularly compared to other countries here in the U.S. Um, millions of people have uh, received the vaccination, but also that means tens of millions of people really want to know, well, do I have to keep living the life the way I've been living it before? Do I have to keep wearing masks outside? Do I have to keep social distancing, even with people who I know have already been vaccinated? Finally, we're going to get some answers. Yeah, and it'll be interesting because, as you say, the CDC is expected to announce these new mask guidelines. And, yeah, I've been, you know, following the CDC guidelines um, when I'm outside. And, and I would say, for the most part, in New York City, at least, um, you, you see a lot of people wearing masks when they're outdoors. Um, during the height of the pandemic, when I was working out, when I was, you know, running in the park, um, I saw everybody working out wearing masks. Now it's it's about 50-50. I, I still wear a mask when I'm working mm -hmm. out because you don't want to see what's flying out of my nose and my mouth when I'm jogging. Um, so I think it's good for everybody. But, you know, it's not across the board anymore. Maybe you should keep wearing the mask even after I, the pandemic. I was going to say, I, you know, it only was <laughs> when I started wearing the mask, Emery, because of the pandemic that you were able to actually visualize what doctors are telling you. Because I'm out there huffing and puffing, and I'm like, Ugh, and stuff is like, I can literally see it coming out of my, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, people don't want to be near me uh, when I'm jogging down the park. So, uh, um, but it is becoming uh, a little. Uh, uh, <laughs> An, an awful lot of us have also learned how terrible our breath smells thanks to these masks. But I digress. I want to blame the coffee, <laughs> but I don't think it's the coffee, Emery. <laughs> <laughs> so the CDC is expected to announce these new mask guidelines finally, and that will include information for how vaccinated people can resume activities safely in public. A federal health official tells CBS News that in remarks later this afternoon, President Biden will also discuss the new recommendations from the health agency. Meantime, young people continue to get hit by the impact of the UK coronavirus variant that is spreading in Michigan. According to the Michigan Health and Hospital Association, pediatric COVID-19 hospitalization rates increased more than 300% in just over the past two months. For more on this, let's bring in Dr. Diane Hess. She is the founder of Gramercy Pediatrics in New York City. Dr. Hess, always great to see you. Um, so what are you expecting we may hear about these updated mask guidelines? I think that they're going to uh, loosen them. I think literally they're going to loosen them and let uh, people mm -hmm. who are vaccinated and people who feel safe take off their mask. I think that the most vulnerable should not take off their mask if they're not vaccinated because we know where that leads us. But um, when you think about doing like a, in, in vi like a live study, an in vivo study, I think about a state like Florida, where when you go, most people outside are not wearing masks and we're not seeing massive numbers. Whereas states like California, where there was a lockdown, despite having good weather, people were forced indoors because they didn't go to school and they didn't go to work. And that's where we saw huge spikes in the COVID virus. So I think outdoors, when you